looking out to Discovery Bay, a neighborhood surrounded by water. But there's something happening here that's capturing the attention of scientists. They say climate change is creating toxic algae blooms at a troubling rate. We look at the bay and the bay looks blue. We drive over a bridge and we're like, what a beautiful bay. And really there are ecological problems. What's going on when it comes to the algae blooms in uh, the Bay Area? Harmful algal blooms are uh, microorganisms that when they multiply a lot, form these mats. They're green and they're on the surface or just under the water. Unlike regular old pond algae, these algae release a toxin that can be very powerful. We're seeing these blooms occur more frequently and over a wider area of the bay, particularly in the northern and eastern parts of the bay out by the Delta. Both Discovery Bay and Stockton are in the southern part of the Delta in the Sassoon Bay region. Discovery Bay is a man-made development and it's got lots of backwaters and marinas but it's sort of disconnected from the main part of the bay, which has a flushing tidal flow. In Stockton, there's a river that runs through Stockton. It's the second longest river in the state, the San Joaquin River. And so in both areas, the algal blooms were off the charts this year. Next year could be even worse. Associated with that, you might see dead fish or even dead birds. Climate change is making temperatures rise in California. We experienced this during the summer, but increasingly even in the spring and the fall. And these the organisms that cause toxic algae blooms thrive in warmer water. Is there something that people can do that could possibly make a difference? These are systemic problems and the systems for diverting water from our rivers, the system of agriculture that we have in the Central Valley, and then that water is released into the Bay. We need to modernize those systems. So in the Bay Area, it would be making sure less of the wastewater from wastewater treatment plants goes directly into the Bay and rather recycling that to a level where it can be used again. This has been seen around the world as, as really catastrophic events in water bodies that are somewhat similar to the Bay. If we don't address them soon, we may wake up one day very literally and have a Bay that looks like green pea soup. It's a grave concern.